And welcome back, this is Baller Skibo with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Southwest, up against Juggernaut. He's going to be running it through walls uh, using his Helmet of Doom. I... Uh, yeah, sorry. X-Men joke. Uh, he is the Red Protoss in the Northeast. Uh, the map is Steps of War. Um, this is something that... Uh, I'm always amazed by this. Steps of War... The expansion ends, I'm going to say it ends right there, okay? It's kind of far from the actual mineral line, but, you know, this is pretty much the ramp to the expansion. From that ramp to the opponent's ramp is literally just that right there. It almost fits on one screen. Uh, can I get both ramps? Yes, I can actually get both ramps on the same screen. Uh, this is a very short map from expansion to expansion. It is uh, pretty average in terms of rush distance, though. Uh, that is something that I never think of when I'm playing on this map. But we will see if that comes into play here. Um, so, he is going for nothing out of the ordinary. Pylon is up, Chrono boosting the Nexus. Meanwhile, I am getting that Supply Depot just up now. Uh, so I didn't Supply like myself. Yay! I'm getting better at this game. And that SCV is going to go out to Scout to see what is going on here. And what is going on? Nothing much, just getting a gateway. Pretty standard. And there goes one of my SCVs to build up the barracks. He's taking a sweet ass time though. Get over there. Thank you. Barracks is on the way. Still Colonel Boosting Nexus trying to get the lead in the harvester count and he does. Look at that. Just barely ahead. Oh now he does take the lead because I did move somebody over to get the gas. And now my SCV goes in right as his probe goes out. He's waiting to send that scout until after he starts building gas. I, of course, send it right after that supply depot is finished. I see that he's chrono boosting the Nexus, so I am not scared of a rush whatsoever. Of course, if he was going for a rush, he'd be chrono boosting that gateway once it finished. Barracks just now turning blue for me as it rises out of the ground. Right as the probe crosses in, that is quite a zigzag pattern that he's got there. That probe to check out what is going on on base and what is going on, not much. Still pretty early. He is going to be getting a Cybernex core, there it is. Um, so he can get stalkers. And of course he's got, oh there we go, Zealot just now being trained. Marines starting to come out of my barracks, and oh uh, yeah, this happens to me all the time. Whenever I s the <laughs> the probe's still in the base, and I have to train that quick Marine to try to deal with them, I always forget to morph this into an orbital command right away. Oh, that is something I need to work on. So now the Marine is out. There he is. Somewhere. There he is. Under my name tag. So I'm going for that second barracks and getting a reactor on that first barracks. And come on, morph. There we go. Way too late. Oh my gosh. How long does it take to make a marine? It takes 25 seconds. So this was 25 seconds late, this orbital command, because I had to wait until after that marine was done. Oh, just bad early play for me. Uh, but luckily, he is not, uh, it's not going to be that important because he's still not really amassing an army. He's still stuck on one zealot pylon going out at the end of the base. He's researching Wharf Gate and he was chrono boosting it. Second gateway on the way as well. Oh, and a forge going up for Juggernaut. Uh, probably going to be using that for cannons, maybe for, up for some early upgrades. Um, after my second barracks uh, is going to be finished, I'm transferring straight into a factory. And 
he's got a probe chilling out keeping an eye on this high yield really he really this is really his Zelnaga tower on this map uh, so that because these are my minerals right these are his high yield minerals so this is really um, he's him, him watching his own high yield expansion and of course um, that expansion out of there but you know really this is I don't know. It, he picked the wrong side. That's all I mean to say. But it's understandable. Any Zelnaga Tower is going to be well worth it later on. Sentry's out on the way. Does he have any out yet? No, he does not. I am going for Marines and Marauders. That factory just finished there. And instantly getting a tech lab on it. Am I researching anything at the tech lab on the barracks? No, of course not. That would be too awesome. Sentry and a couple zealots hanging out up front. As a pylon being warped in the back. Um, probably just to make sure I don't get any medevac drops uh, here. He gets a little bit earlier idea of when that's going to be happening. Stimpak now being researched for me as uh, he is getting well he's just getting a probe right now. Oh another couple three gateways being warped in right now. That is a lot to queue up. That means he had 450 minerals. He probably should have just gone for the expansion um, with that kind of money. Um, of course, I'm close to that myself. I'm almost... Oh, just spent it now. Almost up to 400 to get that expansion, but I uh, I did want to get that army out first. I am researching siege tech, so we will be seeing siege tanks from me. Engineering bay going up. A um, lot later than his forge did, but then again, he's got no army to speak of. If I had sent in now, oh, another zealot on the way. But still, uh, five marines and a marauder up against three zealots and now a, a sentry. Uh, that would have been pretty easy for me unless that sentry is clutch. But I don't think it is. Second factory on the way for me. Uh, this is something that I've been doing lately. I don't know what it's called. I doubt it has a name because I doubt the pros are using it. But what I've been doing lately is two barracks, two factories, and two starports. Uh, if you get one of each, they call it a Destiny Cloud Fist build. I don't know what they call it if you get two of each. Those three gateways are now up being morphed into warp gates as the robotics facility finishes so I, I doubt he's got enough to deal with all six of those buildings at once and it doesn't look like he is he does uh, he's just getting the one century out of all that so I've really given them the chance to mass up an army good enough to counter mine but no it's him that's going